year ago this time, nobody would have expected that we would have gone through the year that we just came through. Just about 12 months ago, we were hit with a plague. We were told to shut down our operations, stop doing outpatient procedures, and every one of us were faced with uncertainty and challenges that we never could have foreseen. And at that point, we really didn't uh, have any idea <laughs> what impact it would eventually have on us. Well, the expectation at the beginning of 2020 was that, that you know, we would continue to grow as a small rural community hospital, a critical access hospital located in Knox County. Never anticipating that it would ever reach any place this far. Never expected to see it in our community. Eventually, COVID was rampant in rural America as well as it was the rest of the country. So as the pandemic began, we were a premise-based organization, and by that I mean most, most folks were working within the four walls of the organization. And many have continued, and I'm very grateful for that, but parts of the organization um, including support staff, have moved into a remote model. So that was a challenge at first for IT to be able to support that. But as we quickly looked at what we needed to do to provide the right technology um, for folks to be working from all different locations, that was a challenge. But also, I'm very proud of IT that we stepped forward and we'll be able to serve the organization in that direction. We were trying to uh, anticipate what was coming down the pike, and that makes it tough. That makes it tough, and, and it made it tough for our people. Quickly into this pandemic, uh, we realized that our team members were struggling, whether they were exposed to the virus um, or had an illness. So we developed an employee assistance fund. Um, we quickly rallied around uh, friends in our community, our team members, our employees, our board members to develop a program that we could financially assist our staff. We've made house payments, um, be able to keep their electric and their and their utilities on, just various things that um, have, have helped people get by. So the stories have been overwhelming, they've been touching, even heartbreaking. One of the unfortunate and very sad things for us was to lose one of our comrades. Bonnie Hall was an RN that worked with me over the 30 years. She took care of COVID patients. That's what we named our COVID unit, was our ICU unit. Everybody that works with COVID patients have a fear, even with all the proper PPE, that will you be next? Well, you know, Bonnie come in with a little sinus infection um, and it progressed but um, God chose to take Bonnie home with him. So our Bonnie didn't survive the COVID. This is an extended family, and when somebody suffers and struggles, we all struggle, and so to lose one of our own family members was a huge blow to us all. She never minded coming to work and taking care of her patients. She was just that way. That was, like I said, the love of nursing, but God chose to take Bonnie home with him. Bonnie's main focus when she wasn't here was her grandchildren and her daughter and Bonnie and the grandchildren spent many vacations on the beach. Bonnie's favorite place I think was the beach. She loved her patients, she loved their families, but uh, her memory will remain here at ARH for many years through her co-workers and her patients that she took care of and uh, we love Bonnie. These nurses have endured great hardship personally and professionally, and they've experienced a lot of loss through this. Some of our nurses have lost co-workers, they've lost long-time patients that they've developed relationships over the years, and they've lost family members. Thankfully, ARH began doing their sometimes daily broadcast, and then we started thinking, okay, then we're gonna have to make a concerted effort to address this across the system. They continue to step up to the challenge, and our nurses have shown endurance, in face of great hardship. Even more importantly than that, 
they have persevered. This pandemic has taught nursing a, a lot of new lessons. We've had to learn new rules and identify ways to adapt our environment to make it more safe for our patients and our staff. We've had to build makeshift walls and we've had to expand wards. In 36 years of nursing, I've never been more proud to be a part of the nursing team here at ARH. ARH mobilized, they worked hard, they gave their hearts. Even in preparation, our people came together with planning and procedure and protocols up until that first day. And I recall it very well when we got our very first COVID patient and uh, we were ready and we were prepared. I couldn't be more thankful for our home care team and our representatives that go out every day in the rain, snow, sleet, just like the mailman. They don't miss their visits, they go. Uh, despite whatever the obstacle is, they go. And we deliver hospital beds, oxygen equipment, uh, consists of a concentrator, what we call a backup system with a oxygen tank. Let me tell you, the biggest challenge that I have faced is wearing full PPE. That means the mask, the goggles, the hairnet, gloves, gown, and the booties while you're putting someone in the shower at their house <laughs> when they like it to be about 90 degrees in the house. That is a real challenge. <laughs> yes, I still can recall our first COVID patient who was discharged from the hospital. And his prognosis was not good during his stay. But once again, the care we provided, the treatment we provided brought about a healing for him. And he did get to go home. And I can remember many, many employees coming together in our lobby and right on out through the door, celebrating and cheering as that gentleman went home. It was a truly phenomenal experience. taken every member of our team to come together to make changes, to adapt. I've seen everyone in this building give even more than they have ever given in the past, and that is every day. They come in with a smile on their face, love in their heart. No single person could be given this CARES Award. We all have witnessed the dedication and the compassion in the care that our people have provided. These times are unprecedented and it has taken all hands on deck from the people at the front door who have to screen every single person. It includes the people who are responsible for ensuring that everything is sanitized throughout our hallways. And it reminds me of a scripture that perseverance is gained through tribulations. And we've seen a lot of tribulations and they persevered and that perseverance has developed character. And through that character, it has developed hope. And they have given us all hope. You know, I think this has been one of ARH's finest hours. This was a, the, one of the toughest things that we've ever been through, um, but we came together to help each other. And I, I think ARH should be proud um, proud of what we've done and, and proud of our team members for, for coming together to help each other. I'm very proud of the efforts of all of you. And, and I have to say, in my limited travels during the pandemic, I have met with many of our community leaders 
who have expressed gratitude for the work that you have done, the service that you have provided, taking care of their communities and our communities. It's through all of your efforts and your teamwork that we have come through this as well as we have. From the bottom of my heart, I want to thank each and every uh, member of the ARH team. So on behalf of our communities, our board of trustees, and all of our community CEOs, I want to thank each of our team members for all of their efforts this year. Thank you for giving even more every day for our organization. Thanks to all the ARH employees for giving even more. Thank you to all of the ARH team members for giving even more. Thank you to all of the ARH employees for giving even more.